Hi everyone! Welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to get feedback from my viewers. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of those links are in the description below this video. February is a month for love and hearts. So even though it's after Valentine's Day, I'm going to show you two ways you can make gifts in February to give someone that screams handmade with love. So stay tuned. This video is part of a challenge. It's the What Month Is It Challenge for February, and it's hosted by Tammy from Happiness Created, co-hosted by Teresa from uh, Teresa B and LaParsha from Creating It Myself, and special guest host, Lini from Crafty Lini. So after you viewed my video, please leave a comment, hit the like button, tell me which uh, craft you liked most, and visit the playlist, and you'll see some amazing crafters and leave them some love. Tell them I sent you. So I cut a piece of drop cloth that is 32 inches long by six and a half inches wide. <clears throat> and I'm going to just fold it in half and I'm going to run a seam up the sides. And I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to throw it in the washer and dryer to get that frayed edge. So now I have my bag all sewn up. So I sewed the sides and I used red thread because I, want, I wanted the thread to show. And I ran it through the washer and dryer and that's how I got these fred, frayed edges. So when I put the bottle in, I want to turn this over to have a little cuff. So... I'm going to do that now so I know where to put my lettering. So uh, with my Cricut, I made this vinyl lettering. And now I am going to use my heat press to adhere it to the bag. So I set the heat press for 305 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to put it on for 40 seconds. And we'll see how this comes out. So I'm going to lay my stencil down and I'm using some parchment paper to put over it and now we're going to put the heat press on it turn it on and as you can see there's the countdown so we're going to wait 40 seconds uh, I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure wait 40 seconds and we'll see uh, if it adheres if not we'll just put it on uh, a little bit more Okay, let's see. Beautiful. Okay, so there's the wine bag. Love the wine you're with. This starts with one of the wreaths that I got from Dollar Tree. This is the heart wreath form. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just tie these pieces of fabric to the wreath. So I bought this roll at Joann's. Uh, this is a fabric roll. It comes in 20 strips and there's 10 designs to each of each design. And the measurement is two and a half by 42 inches. So I am gonna cut them down to 10 inch pieces. And what you do is you just tie them to the wreath. So I'm going to tie the first piece to the first two rungs. Just tie it into a knot like that. Okay, then your next piece is going to be tied to these two rungs. So you're going to put it on like this. Okay. 
okay? And then you're just gonna squeeze them together. So then the next piece, which is gonna be another color, we'll take this one here, and then this is gonna go back down to the first two rungs. So you're just going to alternate. Alternate the rungs. First, the first two, second two, first two, second two, until you filled up your wreath. Okay, then you're just gonna push it together and then you're just gonna keep on doing this throughout the whole wreath. And the back should look something like this. When it's all tight together, it will look like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie all my pieces on like that and I'll show you what that looks like. So my wreath is all done. Isn't that pretty? The nice thing about this is you can use any material. You can use, even use drop cloth, you can use sackcloth, flower sackcloth, uh, all your scrap fabrics. And then this is what the back of it should look like when you're done. It's almost like a, a weave. You can see that's what it should look like. Anyway, so pretty. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting.